Hello and welcome to Chronically Overdressed. I'm Christine, the Glambassador. I've already showed some of my brooch collection with you and some of my hat collection, but today I want to share with you my parasol collection. So when I sent out a teaser on Instagram uh, for this video, I actually got a lot of questions in regards to the difference between a parasol and an umbrella. And I realized through talking to some of my followers that the word for umbrella or parasol is actually used interchangeably in a lot of languages. Um, I obviously speak English. I also speak some French, Spanish, and German. And within those languages, there are different words for each one. So I thought I would just give a little bit of information, um, at least from an American side, an English speaking side, on what the difference between a parasol and an umbrella is. So parasols are strictly to shade from the sun. They are typically made out of a cloth material or even a paper. So they are not water resistant, they're not waterproof. And on the other hand, an umbrella is, that's made from, can be made from cloth, but it's typically a waterproofed or water resistant material. Now with umbrellas, you can absolutely use them to shade you from the sun as well. Um, they work both ways in, in that regard. They can shield you from the rain and they can shield you from the sun. Parasols are only going to shield you from the sun because they do not have that barrier that's going to keep out the rain. I do have a collection of vintage umbrellas, which I will share with you in another video. Now I'd like to start off with reminding you guys that I am not an expert. I am not a historian. Uh, for the most part, for all of my vintage collection, I, if, it's, if it's pretty, if I like it, I buy it. I don't necessarily know the right terminology for everything. I certainly don't know, um, well with parasols, like I don't know the makers. Um, and for the most part, I don't always know when they were made. There's definitely some that I know are more modern than, um, than others. And for the most part, I'm just kind of going off of what the seller told me it was. Uh, so I have a couple of Victorian um, parasols and I'm just kind of taking their word at it that they are in fact Victorian. Um, but what I'm hoping is I would love to hear from you guys if you are an expert if you do have more information about any of these parasols please leave a comment um, below I'm more than happy to learn more about my collection um, and I would love to hear from anybody who might be an expert on you know what I have and as with all of my collection whether it's my clothing my brooches my hats um, everything for me has to be functional. I don't collect things just to set them up on a, uh, on a shelf and have them look pretty. I actually want to use them. So the majority of my parasols are still functional. A lot of them do need some work. They need some love. Um, some of them are, you know, very, very well loved by me and that's why they need some work. Uh, but some of them have just come to me that way because they are quite old. But I still like to, uh, I, I really make sure that I can utilize them. So I wouldn't buy something that is completely just wrecked and it has holes in it or anything like that. Um, because I do use them very regularly and I don't want something that's just going to sit on my shelf simply because it happens to be old. So it's, you know, it, it's kind of the running theme all the way through all of my collections. I won't buy something that I can't functionally use myself. Speaking of function, um, <laughs> for me personally, there are three main functions that I use parasols for 
clearly I am a very fair skinned woman. Um, I'm also an esthetician, so I am really big on sun protection and that is my main use for my parasols. Uh, they are fantastic for sun protection, but I'm also a very delicate flower and don't do well in the heat. Yes. I know I live in Hawaii, not the right place for me. So it work, they work as a really good heat protection as well. The sun um, just, I don't know, it drains me, it really does. And I just cannot handle too much of the sun on me for, for very long. So I actually keep a parasol in each one of my cars um, for, you know, just for those days that if we happen to go to like a farmer's market or we happen to go somewhere where I know that we're going to be outdoors uh, quite a bit, I will just grab my, I call it my everyday parasol. Um, it's uh, it's more, it's a modern parasol. I will show you which ones I'm speaking of in a moment. Um, and they're just really easy to keep in the car. So I always have them on hand. So the first two main functions are sun protection and heat protection. Now a third one is, um, <laughs> it's, Kind of a strange one but this really started to happen a lot when i was in germany where people would try to take photographs of me and they would of course try to do it as sly as possible um, generally when i'm out and about and parasols are fantastic for stopping that from happening um, my husband is the eagle eye and he can always see when someone is trying to take a photograph of me um, and so he'll, you know, he'll say something or he'll nudge me and then I'll just kind of move my parasol to cover my face. Now, with that said, I do not mind people asking me to take my photograph. Um, better yet, take a picture with me. I think it's really weird that someone wants to just kind of take a random picture of somebody walking and, you know, if you want to take a picture of me, at least let me pose nicely and have the picture be nice. Um, or again, better yet, take the picture with me. So um, those of you out there who, uh, who want to do that, just ask the person. It's just, you know, it's kind, it's nice, uh, it's respectful. And um, for the most part, we don't mind, but at least give us the chance to say yes or no of whether we want our photo taken or not. So that's my uh, PSA for, for today. But those are my main uses for a parasol. Parasols have been used um, for centuries. The ancient Egyptians would use them. Um, parasols actually came before umbrellas and mostly because in the, you know, the hot desert climate, you don't really have a use for umbrellas. Um, over time, um, Parasols have generally been used by wealthier people um, and they've gone in and out of fashion back and forth. And of course the umbrella came around um, after the parasol, but were, you know, when, when technology was created to actually make some sort of water resistant or waterproof type material that could keep the rain off of you. Um, and it's kind of strange, uh, when umbrellas did come around, they were seen as very feminine, uh, pieces. And so men were just totally against using something, um, even though it would protect them from the rain, they felt that, you know, it was very manly to get out and, and get wet rather than carry around a parasol or an umbrella to protect them. So, um, it really wasn't until probably like the mid 1800s when umbrellas were starting to be a little bit more sturdy and kind of bulkier that men finally found it uh, okay to use to protect themselves from the rain. So, you know, men, they're silly. Anyway, so yes, they have, they have typically been used by women um, and of course parasols are geared towards protecting you from the sun and, um, and you know, keeping the heat off of you as well. All right, let's get into my collection. For the most part, they are fabric parasols. Those are actually my favorite. Um, I do have a couple of paper uh, parasols. They are newer, they're not, um, they're not vintage. Um, I don't know how 
well the paper ones actually survive so the I really like the cloth ones um, and they're just they've they've really held their coloring very very well so this is one of my favorites here it's um, it's actually made in Japan it on the top it does say made in Japan now it's in English so clearly it was made for the American market uh, but the the wooden handle on here is absolutely stunning and this is kind of your typical flat parasol with the wooden and bamboo ribbing on the inside the fabric on this is stunning and the colors are still amazing I mean it definitely could use a little bit of a cleaning but it's still very functional it has a nice little uh, metal clip here to keep it upright and it's pretty small to you know where you can carry it around pretty easily but it covers really nicely I have a couple of that are, are really small that don't <laughs> they don't really shade a whole lot but they're beautiful and I like them so this one does need a little bit of repair it's still functional it still works but um, I would love to get this repaired and um, just restored a little bit this one actually has its lovely little ring here <laughs> this kind of dangly bobbly here um, to keep it closed which is really nice when you're when you're walking around if you're not actually using your parasol it's nice to have these covers that close it up so when you're walking you're usually holding it down like this and you don't want the canopy to just open up uh, if it doesn't have one of these I end up kind of carrying it like this which is kind of awkward I would rather just carry it uh, from the base so I really love if I can find one that has um, an attached um, little ring here. And it's just, it's attached to the, um, the base here. You can see it's got the attachment right up here. But this one is lovely. It's got these <laughs> gorgeous little dangly bits at the end and a beautiful painted, um, motif here and it is a bamboo handle or bamboo um, stem I don't know if this is bamboo I don't think it is um, but the inside the ribbing on the inside is really beautiful especially with that purple thread it's kind of cool now this one does not have a um, I don't even know what they're called, but when you open it up and it usually will click, it'll have some sort of um, attachment up at the top that kind of clicks it in. This one doesn't, but it stays up and stays open really, really well. So I'm not really sure how they've constructed this, but I really like it. Um, and of course the, the top, this uh, little top part, this is all, this is wood and then there's fabric the rest of it is fabric. It's kind of a, a satiny fabric. And then our little tassels at the end there. This is another fabric um, parasol that again needs some repair. I have used this over and over and over again, <laughs> as you can tell. And I really would love to get this one repaired because I love, I love the orange color on this it's just beautiful um, and again it's it's a flatter um, I don't know what this is called I know I have some that are pagoda that have kind of a curve to it I don't know if this has a name or not but if you know let me know and this does have the um, the metal top here that keeps it open once you've once you've opened it up and you just press it down and it slides right down so this also is a um, has a bamboo stem and then just the wood handle and I believe this was a strap that would keep the whole thing closed and together um, but it's leather and it has just yeah it's died so <laughs> that does not 
Um, that does not, it's not in use right now, but it definitely needs some repair. Um, it's kind of tearing right up at the top here and some of the ribs on the inside need to be reattached, but it's still pretty functional. Uh, anytime I'm using the parasols like this that need a lot of work, I really, I don't wanna be opening and closing them a lot. I just want to open them up, kind of use them and that's it. So if I'm using them where I'm going in and out of buildings, where I know I'm going to be closing it and opening it a lot, I won't bring these types of parasols. I'll bring ones that don't need any repair because the less I can keep it opening and closing, the better. Now this one I do suspect is probably more modern. The, uh, the, the wood on it is much more pristine. Uh, again, it's a bamboo stem with a wood handle and it's got this adorable little tassel and they kind of look to me like little fingerprints <laughs> on there. I don't know why, but um, the color is beautiful. The painting on it is gorgeous and it's kind of, it is a fabric. It's a light fabric. It's very see-through, um, but yeah, you can see like the glue on the bottom here um, I honestly do not remember where I bought this and but yeah it feels it feels a lot more modern to me um, and it's it's very sturdy it's it's pretty sturdy so I'm not worried about this one um, you know with opening and closing it so this is definitely one that I would use to you know take with me if I was going in and out of buildings and I knew I was just going to be opening and closing it a lot so that one I feel comfortable with because it's a little bit more modern. So here's one of the paper parasols that I have. And I do believe that, yeah, this is one, I love the shape of it. Um, it does need some repair. It's starting to, to you know, the, the ribbing here is starting to kind of poke through. But this is one, <laughs> I, the, um, the bamboo actually split several years ago and my husband tried to you know kind of tape it together but it won't stay open um on this so this one definitely needs to be repaired but i really love the painting on it i love the peacock and the um the cherry blossoms it's really beautiful and this shape the shape of this parasol is fantastic with the little scalloping i like this a lot but again it's a paper parasol so if there is any chance of rain do not use a paper parasol you will ruin it now this one I know for a fact is modern because I bought this in San Diego um, at in, in Old Town actually there's a little Victorian uh, shop in Old Town so I know that this is modern and to be fair it does not protect you from the sun very well because it is only covered on a very small portion of the top the rest of it is just open lace but this is just a beautiful beautiful parasol um, if you are going for that Victorian Edwardian look this is perfect and um, you know it's just this gorgeous kind of cream colored lace and uh, it does it is a you know a wooden stem but you've got really good metal ribbing on the ins metal ribs here on the inside you've got a plastic top here so i mean this is still pretty sturdy but yeah if you're looking for major sun protection this is definitely not what you should be going for so this is one of my everyday um parasols that i that i keep in my car i have four of these i have um green blue white and yellow and i bought these off of etsy and i'll put a link in the description for you she does a really great job with these and they are for a light rain these are actually okay um, she has this the way that she paints these um, they actually are somewhat water resistant i would definitely not use these in a major rainstorm <laughs> Um, but I really like these. Oh, this one hasn't been opened in a while. <laughs> so, uh, again, you've got your bamboo stem, you've got your, um, 
the wood handle and of course it does have the ring that keeps it closed which I really love and you've got the nice um, bamboo up here that keeps it open and you know they're beautifully painted she's done a really good job but the the paint that she puts on here does kind of make the the fabric um, a little bit water resistant so I've definitely been caught in um, very very light rain here in Hawaii it rains all the time um, and this protected me just fine and I didn't it didn't bother any of the paint or anything like that so um, so yeah I got four of these and I just really like them they're they're great for every day um, I, I can be a little bit hard on these and not feel worried that I'm going to break them because they're brand new so um, and they're they're not vintage I'm not worried about them too much so this is one I really do not know the age on this it feels kind of old but it doesn't um, I don't know I really don't know how to how to date it they have been using metal ribs in parasols and um, and umbrellas since about the 1800s so uh, it's hard for me to know <laughs> exactly when this was made but uh, just you know from looking at some of the the metal work and everything it looks kind of old but it does have a bamboo stem um, it has been painted or maybe stained to make it look a little bit darker and of course you've got the the wood handle but I really love the fabric on this the fabric is beautiful it's definitely a deeper um, kind of motif than you normally get with a parasol I find most parasols have a very delicate color palette very light very spring like and this with the um, kind of the the deeper maroons and some purples and grays um, it's just yeah it's, it's very different for me it's different from any of the other parasols that I have Okay, so this one is old. Again, I have no idea how old it is. But I do notice that some of these longer um, parasols tend to be more in like the Victorian era, I believe. And the detailing on this handle is absolutely spectacular. Um, and then of course you have your little dangly bit here this i honestly have no idea how well this would work to um to contain the um the actual umbrella or the actual parasol i have not used it because it's a really old thread and i'd just rather kind of keep it that way um but yeah so it's got this nice long which this was not bamboo i don't know what kind of wood this is but it's definitely not bamboo this is definitely one of the smaller parasols that i have it's it's definitely not going to cover all of me to <laughs> to shield me too much from the sun but it's just beautiful and adorable and i really love it it definitely needs a cleaning and i have not figured out how to do that properly so if you know and you want to share that with me please do i would very much appreciate it okay so this is one of my larger i have two pretty large parasols and this handle is spectacular it is i don't know if it's bakelite um i honestly don't test any of my stuff to see if it's bakelite but i love that it has the attached um ring here that has the little button snap so you can keep it all together now this is a pagoda this um this the way that this opens up you can see how the shape of it is um kind of this almost like a a, a flower it looks very floral to me and i like the way this one in particular has this kind of ombre coloring that goes down um, it looks again very floral to me and I do think this is might be bamboo it's hard to tell it's been painted several times I can tell but uh, the mechanism inside is 
amazing. And it does need to be, you know, there's there's some spots in here that definitely need to be um, reinforced and, and fixed up a little bit. But on the whole, I think this one is actually a really good and functional parasol. And I would like to get a few more of these pagoda type parasols. They're really beautiful um, and they, they make a statement. They really do. Now this one I believe is my oldest parasol. Um, it was it was sold to me as a Victorian parasol and I'm kind of inclined to think that they are correct. The carving on the base of this, now I love this because it is all one piece. A lot of the other um, parasols you'll notice have a stem and then they have a separate base. They have a separate kind of handle, but this is all one piece. And this little bit at the bottom here, it's carved with what looks like feathers or maybe ferns. I think it might be feathers. And the fabric is silk and then it is beautifully embroidered. And the color on this is absolutely stunning. This kind of mint green with this beautiful cream. And again, this does need to be, I would love to be able to clean this, um, but this being silk, I really, I have no idea. I have no idea how to clean this properly without, um, without damaging it. But the embroidery on this is gorgeous. Um, and yeah, you gotta really be careful on the top here. You're, poke an eye out on that one but this is tall this is a really really tall long big big parasol this one absolutely covers me um, and it does need a little bit of work some of the um, the ribs in here are well one of the ribs is completely broken and so I have to be very careful with this one but I love this. I love the way it looks. I love this, this green and, um, and cream silk. It's just stunning. And I hope that I can get it repaired at some point and maybe cleaned up so I can use it a little bit more. Well, there you have it. That is my parasol collection. There is one thing that I am missing in my parasol collection that I have been constantly searching for, and that is a folding parasol. I found one on eBay and I purchased it and I was ready to get it and then I got a message from them that um, it had in fact broken um, that they had you know they had it in storage and the the whole thing just broke apart so um, had my hands on one at one point and completely lost it so I'm constantly on the lookout for a folding parasol which is would I think, you know, round out my collection quite nicely. But, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at my collection. And again, I will do another video of my umbrellas um, at a later date so I can show you some of my pretty cool vintage umbrellas. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. Again, if you have any information about my any of my parasols or just parasols in general, or if you have any questions, leave a comment below for me and I would love to hear from you. I'll see you soon. Bye.